We are blessed indeed, aren't we? To be able to come and to worship and to be uh, drawn into the very presence of God by our musicians. Thank you so much for that introduction. And welcome on this first Sunday of Advent. We're glad you're here as we commence this journey to Christmas and the birth of Jesus. Oh, let me tell you, it's going to be a grand, grand time. Over the next four Sundays, as we consider the gifts of Christmas, be sure to keep your copy of the source close by so that you'll know what's taking place. But in addition to normal activities this week, let me just remind you of several things that are happening. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, the uh, youth, meetings, uh, youth leaders meeting will take place. And then uh, next Saturday, the Cory Band will present a Christmas concert in Dunedin, and you may want to go up and be a part of that. I think the weather's going to be a little warmer next weekend. Maybe it'll be just like this weekend. Who knows? But go up and support them if you would. Uh, later on tonight, 6 p.m., will be our Christmas carol. Sing. You'll want to be here to be a part of that. You'll want to come early because as the area gathers together, this place will be packed out. So tonight, 6 o'clock, the uh, Christmas carol, uh, divisional Christmas carol sing. The, uh, now, on third, Tuesday, December 11th, will be the core Christmas dinner at, uh, at 6 o'clock. And then uh, you may want to know that the uh, poinsettia is that here. You'll find if you'd like to purchase one, there's a form out in the lobby, and you, uh, if you would, just turn that in. Uh, Corps cadets have uh, Christmas ornaments for sale for their World Services project. You'll find those in the lobby as well. Retired officers, if you uh, desire to ride the bus on December the 15th to the Divisional Commander's Retired Officers Christmas Party, sign up sheet is on the bulletin board there in the lobby as well. And then this being Christmas and all that uh, it entails, volunteers are still needed to ring the bell and to help with distribution of, of toys and other items. If you're interested and can do that, please uh, see Miss Sarah Munoz. Lots of things uh, happening. Uh, just a reminder that, uh, that the Christmas dinner is for adults. The young people, you'll have your own special uh, youth Christmas activities. And so, but on the 11th, it's just for adults. Now from uh, Colonel Bill Harfoot, because of our congregation's commitment to world services, life-sustaining needs are met every day. People find new beginnings through Christ in countries we may never personally experience. Please give generously to world services, the worldwide ministry of our Salvation Army, and that can help next week as you bring your gifts to Jesus on the 9th. Next Sunday will be our gifts uh, to Jesus. Core family, could I direct your attention over this way for just a moment? We have a special thank you. <laughs> Betty, 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 Betty. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. I love this little wand, and I was thanking Betty for it, and I'm like, Betty, you're my backup. Let's make sure, you know. Um, we, you probably, when you came in, wondered why that wasn't lit up and everything else was lit up. We wanted to save that um, for this moment because we want to say thank you to the amazing team of volunteers um, who have transformed not only the core, but Mallory Powell, our social services, and then our Tarpon Spring social services as well into the Christmas beauty uh, that you see today. This took vision. It took leadership. It took joyful teamwork. So as I call your name or group, I would love to have you stand. I really would. Won't be a requirement, but I really would love to have you stand. Um, first of all, Colonel Jean Kelly, she was the overall coordinator and visionary. Where are you, Colonel Kelly? There you are. Stay standing. Yes, no, 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 stay standing. Because with her, with her, there was, there were all the different groups that we put together to help here at the core. So if you were in a group, if you decorated the lobby, the chapel, the gar, the gym, I want you to stand, please. If you had a hand in helping to decorate, okay, if you, brave souls, thank you, thank you for standing. 
Thank you very much. All right, and then in addition, we want to ask, is Jean Flegel here? Jean? She's back. Oh, there you go. She's standing. Jean and advisory board member Carol Lowry, they were in charge of Mallory Powell, so it's beautiful over there as well. Tracy and Elizabeth up in Tarpon Springs. Um, the manpower behind this, Gary, Chris, and Andre. Gary, Chris, and Andre. If you're here, stand up wherever you are. And then we had to sustain the volunteers as they decorated. So if Rolaine is here, she provided uh, meals for the volunteers on those days. So, and if she's not here, give her a thank you when you see her. So, so thanks so much for standing just for that moment and letting us, um, letting us thank you. It was a labor of love throughout the core, throughout the whole Clearwater Command. Um, and it really did represent hours of work, hours of joyful teamwork. I mean, there was a lot of laughing going on too and smiles as they were working. So we, Major and I, want to give a heartfelt thank you uh, to each one of you and we just want to applaud you one more time. Thank you. Just a reminder about the uh, prayer list on the back of your, uh, your source, and just to uh, uh, add to that, our Irish Mike has been placed in isolation due to an infection. Just, just keep uh, Irish and, and Garble in your, in your prayers. And uh, Barbara Pareto is, uh, was admitted to uh, Meese Countryside this past Friday, so keep Barbara in your prayers uh, as well. And then uh, keep the Bush family in your prayers. As you know, the uh, 41st President of the United States George H.W. Bush was uh, passed away on Friday, so just keep uh, the Bush family in your prayers during this time, if you would. Now, it's always uh, a joy to have visitors join us for worship, so if this is your first time, or if it's been a while since you have been uh, to the uh, Clearwater Corps, I'm going to invite you to stand. One of our ushers will bring a microphone. We'd like for you to introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. So if you're a visitor this morning, please stand. Don't be bashful. I certainly will. Sarah Booth from Winter Haven. All right. <coughs> oh, good morning, everyone. I'm Taylor Farrington. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. All right. As those of you who've been here for a while will probably recognize Sarah from uh, from another from another year, and uh, as our, our youth pastor here for years ago, not that long ago, was it, Sarah? But it's good to have you back today to worship with us. It's good to have each of you, and uh, for those of you who live in this area, make, we invite you to make this your core home. For those visiting, we'd invite you back.